Good morning, my name is Gail Clark and I'm here with Agriculture in the Classroom to show you a way that you can introduce cutting edge technology to your students by helping them make biodegradable plastics. We have found that agricultural crops and products are just so much more than just the traditional food and fiber. Nowadays, they're not only creating fuel, but they're also being used in manufacturing products. In this realm, corn is really king. This is the superstar. Corn can be used for over 200 different manufacturing uses, and today we're just going to show you one of them. Some of these products are being used in everyday life right now. For example, packing peanuts. Do you remember when the packing peanuts used to be made of styrofoam? Well, now they're made of cornstarch. The corn kernels are taken and ground up, and the cornstarch is extracted, and we're making little packing peanuts. Watch what happens when these are put in water. Unlike your typical styrofoam, which will last unadulterated for millions of years, the little cornstarch packing peanuts dissolve in no time. Introduce this to your students. Ask them, why is this beneficial to the environment? They'll be able to tell you. They know that styrofoam lasts forever in a landfill, and yet these little cornstarch peanuts, they dissolve in no time. Much better for the environment. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to make a different kind of plastic out of corn materials, corn oil and corn starch. What we're going to do is we're going to start with just these very simple little ingredients, a little bit of food coloring, a little bit of water, and baggies. This is a fail-safe experiment, let me tell you. It's great because it use, it's self-contained, there's very little mess, it's all non-toxic materials, and the students will feel like they are really on a cutting-edge mission. And the best part about this is it can be very open-ended at the end and lead the students to a lot of new, different kinds of experiments. So let's get started. We're going to start with a baggie, and to this we are going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, to our bag, and two or three drops of corn oil. And at this point in time, I need to tell you that one of the benefits of this particular experiment is that it's very forgiving. We're going to add one tablespoon of water. Quantitatively, if the students don't measure things exactly right, it's OK. It'll still work. We're going to close the bag, and now they're going to start mixing. They're going to scrunch this up, give it a little squish with their fingers until it changes consistency. This time then they get to add the color, and this is just fun. Let the students experiment with the regular um, food coloring. They can make all kinds of nice purples and oranges. I'm going to add a little bit of red, just a couple of drops. When you're doing this, make sure that you use the liquid food coloring. Nowadays in the grocery store, sometimes all you can find are the gels, but hunt around and find the actual liquids. Okay, at this point in time, it's ready for the microwave. It's very liquidy, and you're ready to go. Just open the bag a little bit, and we're going to put it in the microwave for 25 seconds. You can do more than one of these at the same time. Just It makes it easier if the students have different colors in there. That'll be better. If you have trouble finding a microwave, get a little creative. Go on a field trip to the home ec lab. I'm sure they still have kitchens around most schools. Ask the cafeteria lady if you can go back there. Or even teacher lounges have, um, oops, have microwaves too. It's done. Let's take a look at it. Please make sure that you tell the kids to be careful because when it comes out, it is going to be rather hot. Right now, you can see it just looks very flat. We're going to let it cool just a minute. We're going to open it up. And do let the kids work with it a little bit. You see a chemical change has taken place. Our cornstarch, corn oil, water are now a plastic, which is moldable. But now there's all kinds of questions that you can ask. Can it be molded? If so, how? You can't use aluminum foil because it's a microwave. You might try using those little candy molds, or the students could build cardboard and tape molds. Let them see if they can produce something that is useful with this plastic. Ask them what kind of substances would be best with the plastic. 
Does it change consistency if you change the recipe? Is it flammable? Is it soluble? Try it. See what they say. Make them justify why this plastic would be good for some items and not good for others. We've seen that this is a fun, easy experiment that works every time. Try it with your class. This Ag in the Classroom experiment is a great way to connect science and technology.